Hi YouTube, my name is Jay Brown. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I would also encourage you if you've been watching my videos but have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. So, you guys, today I have a what's in my bag for you on this big tote. So this is a tote from Victoria's Secret and this is a puffer tote. As you can see, it is quite large. This is what it looks like in the front. And it does have a little Victoria's Secret pink, kind of like a little crest patch on the front. This is what the side looks like. And this is what the back is looking like. You guys, this, this bag is huge. It is just a really big bag. On the zipper, it just has one entrance, one big zipper opening. On the zipper, I hung this cute pink puff, just to jazz it up a little bit because this bag is pretty plain. So you guys, I decided to carry this bag this week because it was supposed to be raining really hard all week. And we did get some rain, but nowhere near as much or as hard as they made it out to be. But I was intending on staying in my Rogue 30 for an additional week when I saw rain was in the forecast and I actually woke up on Tuesday morning to the sound of rain, I quickly decided to just keep everything in this bag. So I did use this bag on Monday to run errands and to take my kids to the doctor's office. And that's when I realized just how big this bag is because I had some packages to mail and I was actually able to put like a full size bubble mailer in this bag without it folding or bending or anything. So let's get into it. Um, again, this is a puffer tote, so it feels just like a comfortable puffer jacket. These are just like basic um, bag straps. Almost, They almost feel like a seat belt, if that makes any sense. And um, most importantly, you guys, this bag was free. This bag holds a ton. Um, the other day, on Tuesday, when I headed into uh, to the office, I had this 32-ounce bottle in there this is a simple modern bottle you can pick these up at walmart or i'm sorry target or amazon so 32 ounce bottle and i had this whole thing in the bag that's how deep this bag is okay so this is a pretty tall bottle this bag you can easily use it as a carry-on a gym bag it, it definitely is not meant to be a purse that's for sure but it has served me well this week and you'll see why so, I literally just got home from work, y'all, so this is a, very much a real what's in my bag, okay? Like, I'm, I didn't clean it out for you or nothing. So, the first thing I have in this bag is this pack of Pepperidge Farms Milano cookies and the mint chocolate. Y'all, these are so good. Um, I was running late. I did not have time to take any out, so I just threw the whole bag in my bag. And this is a full-size pack, you guys. That's how big this bag is. Next, I have a Christmas gift. I'm telling y'all, I literally just got home from work and I ran up out of there. That's in this Christmas bag. I have a Starbucks cup. Y'all, my coworkers are being like really generous. This is so pretty and this is a full size cup. Y'all see this? This is a tall full size cup. It doesn't say how many. Actually, this is a 16 ounce cup from Starbucks. So that was the first thing in that gift bag. Next, this gift in particular, I think it's a bottle of hand soap. It's pretty large as well. That was also in there. It looks like my coworker also got me a Starbucks gift card. And a bag of coffee. And then I also have a Christmas card. So this is how it's looking now on the inside. There is a slip pocket on this back wall and then that's it. So in that back slip pocket, and as you guys can see, as this bag empties out, it's probably gonna flop over. So in the back slip pocket, I have my phone. I have my um, vanilla mint lip shine from Bath & Body Works. Y'all know this is my favorite. 
I have my portable charger, cannot be without these. Next, I have a Bath & Body Works antibacterial hand spray. This is in Kiwi Strawberry, and I need to go ahead and get this used up before it expires. So for my um, accessories this week, you guys, I try to keep everything just kind of relaxed and casual since the bag is, you know, just like a duffel or a huge just puffer tote. So this is, and I don't know if you can see that little patch clearly, but this is from um, Kipling. This is a Kipling Discovery pouch. And you guys, look how much this bottom expands. Are you seeing that? So this is so cute. I love the little rubber zipper pull. Typically the Kipling pieces come with like a monkey um, hanging from it. So there was like a little monkey hanging here. You guys, I don't like monkeys. I don't like gorillas. Just of the negative racial stereotypes and connotations linked to that particular animal and black folks. So I don't do any type of monkeys like I wouldn't let my kids wear monkey outfits, none of that. We were not, no, I don't do that. So I, I took that off. And that's just a random side note, y'all. Probably like, what girl? But yeah. <laughs> so in this bag, I have all of my lippies. So I guess I'm kind of using it as a makeup pouch. So this week, I still have my um, Carolina Herrera. Sit that down. This is Carolina Herrera, Very Good Girl. And this one is Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. So I do have these in my bag again this week. I have my Fenty Heat Lip Gloss in the color Fenty Glow. And I have my clear Dior lip gloss, lip glow, or the lip oil, I should say. On the other side, I have two lip pencils, one in matte cork, and then the other one in um, NYX, and I think the color is suede. And I tried to keep it simple. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Allison again. Same one from last week. I have my matte velvet teddy again and my lip glass in Purr from MAC also. There you go. So that was in the two outer pouches of this. And then in this center pouch, I just have a few mints so these um discovery pouches from kipling really do hold a lot i was very surprised to see how much fit in there and how far it can expand so i didn't even have it filled to capacity and i like how it's still just kind of you know folded back down and was easy to use and you guys let me just apologize right now look i had to re-record this portion of the film because I didn't like the lighting. So yeah, it's the next day. That's why my outfit's different. But the first I have a full size wallet. This is the same wallet that I've been in for the past three weeks. I love this. This is from the Coach Outlet and it holds about 12 cards. Lots of room for storage. Next this week as my grab and go wallet, I have this Michael Kors card case. It has a slip pocket on the back. I have my driver's license there. On the inside, it has two card slots on each side, as well as a center slot here. And I really love the size of these card slots. I have another one in the vanilla and acorn color. These are great small leather goods, highly recommend them. I don't have a matching bag to this wallet, so I figured why not get some use out of it with this setup. I have my reusable Ziploc pouch with my face mask, still carrying those around. Next, I have my pencil case, and I just have my usual pens. I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see through that mesh, but I have um, my tool pens, my Sharpie highlighters, and a regular um, black Sharpie. 
I tried to keep everything just really basic and cute this go around because yeah this bag is pretty basic and you know so this is a little mini puffer backpack from Bath and Body Works it is so cute you see how it's a little iridescent and it has um, straps on the back. I do plan on cutting these off. I left them on so I could share it with you all first. I love how it has the little fur detail. That is so, so cute. And I think it is totally matching the vibe of this bag. So inside here, I am using it as, just as a little mini catch-all. So I have, um, my, I have my strawberry Altoids. I have a pack of gum. I have my Victoria's Secret lotion or hand cream and pomegranate lotus. And I think Victoria's Secret is having a sale on these right now. So I'm gonna probably hop on the website and get me another one of these hand creams. And then the last thing I have in here is my Champagne Toast Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath and Body Works. So this little pack is so cute. I enjoyed using it this week. I would definitely use it as a regular um, bag if I could figure out how, how to, I think I can remove these straps, but still keep the hardware. And so if I could do that, I would just attach a different type of strap to this to use it as an actual little mini bag. Next, I have this notebook from the Dollar Tree. And I'm honestly kind of just using this as a folder. I do like to keep a notebook in my bag every week. Um, but this week, I just have it in here to keep track of the kids' Christmas list. Because I still had some shopping to do. So, yeah. And this is what the notebook looks like on the inside. It just has like two, two little mini notebooks in there. And then this is the very last item that I have in here. I hauled this recently um, for my birthday. I bought this from Shein and this is just a pouch that reminds me of the Stony Clover Lane products. I did add that wristlet strap to the zipper pull to make it easier to get in and out of. I didn't think I was gonna fill this up just based on the size, but I managed to do it. So I have a pack of tissue. I have my lace pouch that I have filled with various um, wipes. So I have eyeglasses, wipes, feminine wipes, you know, what are those? The, um, the wet ones, liners, and, and uh, Purell on the goes, all in this little pouch. I've been showing this in my, prep, my bag for the past few weeks and I love these. Next, I have my Chanel mirror. I have my fingernail file. I have my eye drops. My tie to go pin. And a little berry lip balm from the Dollar Tree. This is a berry scent. And then last but not least, I have my Curad on the go first aid kit and a feminine product. So this is everything I had in my bag this week, you guys. As you can see, it's pretty basic. This entire setup is super affordable. This bag was free. This Bath and Body Works um, pouch was free. I actually picked that up using my rewards. So I highly recommend if you have any free rewards, um, use it to get some of these little pouches from the from the Bath and Body Works. And then, um, like I said, this was on sale from Macy's. This was from Shein. This was like maybe three or four dollars at the most. Really affordable setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please.